Today is such an exciting day. I am about to go sign for my house. I just got off work. This morning was so insane and I've been so bad at vlogging, but it has just been so crazy. I am beyond obsessed with labor and delivery. It's exactly where I've needed to be and I can get more into that later, but it has just been a whirlwind. So I worked this morning crazy day and then literally just hopped in the car ran home i showered really quick and i threw on some clothes for closing i'm gonna go close get the keys to the house I'm gonna go for my first house welcome to the vlog guys grabbed my passport because she mentioned bringing two forms of id so we have the passport we have our Alani Nutrition. Y'all, these jeans, these are not the stretch ones from American Eagle. They're not the stretch ones. I highly would recommend the stretch, but I just liked the hole in these, but I ordered some new ones. I'll show y'all in this video, maybe. I just love the holy jeans. These ones don't have stretch. I'm wearing a 10 in these and they're not ideal. I'm feeling thick. Let's go. We are officially in the new house. Time to cheers, homeowner. I just have this Tupperware. I know this looks disgusting, but this was meal prep chicken I made earlier last week. It's still good. I put the frozen chicken breast in the Instant Pot and I do one whole bottle of Zesty Italian Light and one whole bottle of buffalo wing sauce. You guys, this chicken is so, I hate the word moist, but it is. It's super moist and it's so flavorful. It's absolutely delicious. delicious. Highly recommend it. I wanted to share, I just opened a brand new box. I had a couple extra because I ordered in stock when I ran out because I didn't want to run out again, but I'm about to take my vitamins. As you guys know, I've been taken care of for well over two years now. It's actually, I think it's my two year anniversary with them. If you don't know what care of is, they are a monthly vitamin subscription and all you do is you go online and you fill out a five minute quiz, ask you questions about your lifestyle, what are your goals. My goals is always, always, always help with sleep help with digestion just kind of feeling good overall and for the longest time I would take vitamins that would be in multiple bottles you know but care of makes it really easy for you to just go on and they tell you what you need and you can customize it as well I personally really really try to get my fish oil in you can also adjust them based off of what your goals are so you can go in and customize and add or take away from whatever they suggest for you but it makes it really easy this is the little dispenser that it comes in and then you get a pack every single day so today this is my pack no act of kindness no matter how small is ever wasted it has a little inspirational quote on it every single day everything on their website is backed by some sort of research so you can actually click on each vitamin and see what exactly is in it what's the research behind it which makes it a really trustworthy brand and is why I have stuck with them for two years. I'm gonna take these, but I wanted to give you guys my 50% off code, 50% off your first order, I believe, uh, if you wanna check out Care Of, and a huge thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. update let's chat a little bit about how LD has been going so back in my last youtube video i told you guys that i was starting an LD, announcing my journey and everything like that and then we kind of jumped right into buying the house and moving and it was just crazy and wild and like i said i kind of had to take a step back and prioritize what was going on right then and there which at the time i was documenting pretty much everything on my story which if you don't follow me on instagram follow me on instagram i'm on there every day it has been a wild journey i cannot believe that i have been there for over almost almost two months now the end of june will be two months i think april into may may into june no it has been two months because i started in the middle of april so it's been two months which is wild i freaking love it like i love it so much it's such a feeling i can't 
describe because at my old job, and I loved my last job too, but just it wasn't where I was supposed to be and I kind of explained that to you guys and it's just a different feeling when you truly love what you're doing. It's so much fun to work with people and <laughs> bring one of the best days of their life or the worst. There's also, of course, I would like to preface that and say like there are great amazing parts to L&D but there are also really sad parts and I you know, if it's a bad day, I think somebody said that in one of my last YouTube videos, like it's not all rainbows and butterflies by any means. I am very, very aware of that, but it's still such a rewarding job to be a part of their journey in any way that it is with um, having a baby and pregnancy. It's just, it's where I'm meant to be for sure. And I, I feel my fire lit every time I leave work because, well, sometimes some days are hard, but for the most part during orientation, I have just been loving it and I'm so excited to continue to learn and that says a lot for me because in my last job, a lot of shifts would just be kind of the get through it, get it over with type of thing and that's just not where I wanted to be and I kind of talked about that on Instagram too about going through the motions and just not being on fire and I, I don't want to live my life not being on fire for what I do. It's going great. I actually switched from Monday through Friday, eight or it was seven to three, I think my shift was. I switched from that to 12 hour shifts, which is why I'm off on a Monday. And I love it so much more. It's a lot easier to work three 12s a week and kind of formulate a schedule around that instead of working Monday through Friday. Just for me personally, there are definitely pros and cons to both. Getting off work at three was really nice, but I like the seven to seven shift more because I personally feel from my learning, it's a lot better for me to see what goes on from three to seven because you admit people, that's typically when an induction comes in for us. They'll come in between typically around five and seven. Some people come in later at night, but that's when people come in and you do things like Cytotec and Cervidil, which are both, you know, what you do for cervical ripening to get a woman, woman, woman started to get her cervix to kind of uh, soften up a little bit. Some of my biggest struggles so far have been cervical checks and that's just something that will come with time and then i talked about this on instagram the other day which is pushing with your patient that is something i'm trying to get more comfortable with because if you're if your patient is a first-time mom or somebody who has had a previous difficult time with pushing. One of the biggest things for me is I will check a patient and I get really excited now that I'm kind of getting more independent when I think that they're complete and I don't always get it right. Let me tell you, I don't always get it right. But when I do think they're complete, I get really excited and it's like, okay, let's push, let's get the doctor. But in reality, you could definitely have some time to push with your patient. So that's something I'm working on. As I figure things out more, I'll share that with you guys. But it's just, it's so much fun. Right now I am about halfway through orientation and then I get trained in the OR in July. So I will have two more weeks of Monday through Friday and that will be strictly OR. So I will be doing C-sections that whole week and then learning how to scrub. I know every hospital is a little bit different but I will be learning how to scrub all the instruments, all the things, which it's gotten so much better. At one point, I swear I was not gonna be able to set up a delivery table to save my life because the instruments are just so difficult to remember the names for me personally. It was just like, I couldn't remember all of the names, but now it's getting better, like a curved mayo and Alice and hemostats, all the different things. I just look at stuff and I'm like, that's a curved item that is slanted. That is what I used to cut the cord and you know, it gets a little bit better, but yeah, that's kind of how it's going. I'm gonna take you guys through tonight, me packing my lunch. I know you guys love like day in the life videos, so I'm gonna take you guys through tonight. I think I'm gonna make, we're gonna make something in the house, like a dinner we can eat for the next couple days for lunches and dinners. I try to get there between 6.30, 6.35 because we do have to clock in by 6.45. That is a little bit different for me. My mornings are pretty early, but I try to have everything laid out the night before, my scrubs, have my bag ready to go, all the things you do to prep before a shift. So if you guys have any questions or any commentary at all about like labor and delivery or anything helpful to somebody like me who is entering into it, feel free to always comment that and be kind. Like I, I do know that it's, it's not all rainbows and butterflies, but I have just had such a mind shift being in a different position. I try to be as optimistic and as positive as possible going into the days because it's a lot and it's exciting and it's adrenaline filled and it's just, it's so much freaking fun and I truly do love it. That is my little L&D update. Obviously I will keep you guys in the loop, but let's do a little day in the life going into a shift and I'll kind of show you guys uh, tomorrow morning into tomorrow night. I can never film at work what I do before and after work. I'll kind of keep you guys in the loop, so. Oh my God, you're right behind me. It's the angle of this lens. We are about to go grab Kaiser. You say hi. Wow, that's do, pretty cool. Do you like the lens? Yeah, my hair be looking kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> We're gonna go pick up Kaiser from his birthday at his new daycare and I'm having just a little snack have you guys ever tried these, these poppy drinks? I actually really like them. They have a weird probiotic -y taste, but they're really good. Did you try this? Yeah, it's kind of like juice. But it only has, this one has 20 calories, five carbs. They're pretty good. I found them at Super Target in Florida, and then I'm just having a level one protein bar. Lots of my friends have links with uh, First Form, but I really like the chocolate peanut butter pretzel one. It's really good, so let's go get the baby. I also just got in my Valentina Collection 2 box from Toluca. I'll open that up in this video too, but we're gonna go get Kaiser. Did you have the best time? Did you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh my goodness. Did you have the best day? Do you smell nice? Oh, we have to go in between the legs. Do you want dinner? I got these from Home Goods, I wanna say. They're like distressed. They fit our decor. We're gonna do a little cooking with me. I'm gonna make a casserole. This is normally a casserole, but I think I'm just gonna keep it all in here. So it's kinda like tuna and noodles. I just have a Dutch oven, you can use whatever you want. You can use just a regular pot, whatever you wanna do. And I'm just going to fill it with some water here. So for ingredients, you need tuna, noodles of choice. I'm gonna use the bonza noodles just because I really like the protein noodles. These have 12 grams of protein in a tuna ounce serving. You need cream of mushroom soup. I have a big one. You probably don't need this big of one. You can just get a regular sized one. And then two cans of green beans, uh, some Italian breadcrumbs, and some spices. So first thing I'm gonna do is do my noodles. So we're just gonna put these in once this pot gets boiling a little bit. You can obviously do whatever you want with this. You can make it spicy, you can make it not spicy. You can add less tuna, you can add more tuna. I actually didn't have heavy whipping cream, so I had to use unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You're not gonna be able to taste it very much, but you just kind of utilize what you have. That's why this is such an easy recipe. The other thing I was gonna say is I just have it on like a low heat. I think it's between four and six. So what you could do, I love the Dutch oven because I could throw this in the oven if I wanted to, put the onion or the crispy, crispy fried onions. <laughs> so you could put those on the top and put a little bit of cheese on it and you could just throw it in the oven. Then it would be casserole form, but I'm hungry and I wanna eat now. So I just made it over the stove. Add to the texture you want. So if you want less cream of mushroom, I actually didn't use this whole big one cause that's kind of a lot. Normally I would just use a can. You can put the uh, crispy fried onions in there. If you want more milk in there, just to get it like a little bit more of a less thick texture, but I like the casserole texture. So we're just finishing up adding the tuna and that's pretty much it. It's so easy and it's delicious, full of protein, like actually packed with protein, really easy. Oh. Why are you <laughs> doing that on purpose? I thought it'd be cool for the video. This is the work. You gotta get something done. <laughs> no. Ain't nobody use a spatula to scoop that up. <laughs> Go fast. Yes, they do. No. I want your first review. Okay. I, I didn't mean from the spoon. It's very good. <laughs> and tasty. Is that your actual review? I mean, it's good. It's tuna casserole. Okay. I'm gonna put some crackers on there. If you don't feel like you have enough breadcrumbs, you can always put something over top of it. Like that. Okay, maybe somebody will find this exciting. Maybe somebody won't. I'm obsessed with cleaning TikToks and I follow this girl. I think her name's Vanessa. She cleans houses. She's super, super fun to watch. I love seeing all of her cleaning supplies. What? I love seeing all of her cleaning supplies, but she showed this stuff and I went and bought it. I got it in the apple scent. So this is what I just made that uh, casserole in and this stuff is kind of stuck to it. Look at, it's. it was like stuck to it and it comes off 
like I'm obsessed with it. This is hard to show in a video, but if you are a clean freak like me, try this stuff. It's so freaking good. I'm going to do a little unboxing. He thinks this is for him. This is the Toluca Valentina part two collection. I think this drops next Monday. This is what the box looks like. This one has the waffle weave print on it. I love that in a swimsuit. I have the uh, black waffle weave. If you guys can kind of tell, it's a little bit textured. Really, really nice. This is, I believe, the Cora Midi Plus. This is the patterned one. I think this print is Riviera is what this one is. And then these are all the different styles. But I got this one that has the cross back on it. This one is another Cora Midi Plus bottom. And this back is really, really nice because it's a really big belt buckle that latches here in the back. You can adjust it three different sizes. So that's that one. This one's one of my favorite tops. This has a really pretty romantic tie right up here in the front in this print. It's a very muted pretty light blue and then i got the ria tie bottom it has that little tie there and this is really nice because you can adjust it to fit and then we got a little scrunchie and then looks like this is the cover-up bottom and the top just a quick little unboxing i'll probably share more on my stories but i thought it would be fun to unbox on youtube since i haven't done that in a little while but this collection is dropping i believe it's June 21st, I think is what it is. We are going to pack lunches. I bought a squeezy peanut butter thing specifically for work, which I think is handy because I can just keep this in my locker and it's pretty clean. I am bringing an apple. I'm gonna cut this up and keep it together. So I have apples and peanut butter. Caffeine, of course, I need to grab my brewmate. I'm gonna bring this one. This is This one is not in stock. I showed the other two the other day, the daisy one and the blue floral one, but keeps my energy drinks cold. Some pop tips. I prefer the popcorners, but we have these. We bought them because I thought I was gonna like them and I just like popcorners way better. So I'm trying to eat through those. A protein bar just in case. Don't know if I'll eat that. And then of course, turkey steaks. Chomps is my favorite. I have pepperoni in the original in here. This is my lunchbox too. I got this from Home Goods or TJ last year. I can't remember, but I'm missing something from my lunch and I can't think of what it is. Cheese stick. Oh my God, they're frozen. I'm missing a cheese stick, but that's what I'm gonna bring from the club tomorrow. And then I eat the house when I get home. So I have my scrub pants ready to go. I need to grab a scrub top. I have my bra laid out. I literally have my underwear and socks laid out because it's so early and then a scrub jacket. So I have to wear something else into the hospital and then I change into my scrubs when I get there. So I will just grab a top. My favorite one is Med Couture this one right here they're so so nice really really stretchy they have like a stretch thing here on the side but it makes it really comfortable when you're wearing it it gives you a little bit of give and then get ready for the day in the morning makeup is all off skincare is done i'm gonna put on one of my zip patches i also like the ones from bad beauty but these are the first ones i saw in my drawers so i'm gonna use these this is what they look like I'll link them. These are on Amazon, but like I said, Dime Beauty has good ones too. I have two little breakout spots. You put them on your zit and it kind of soaks up whatever is under them. Super glamorous. And then I will peel them off in the morning. Great little asset to have when you have those breakouts. The rest of my skin looks decent though. I just have a couple spots. to leave for work by like 6 15 is typically when i like to be driving off this is what i'm gonna wear to work i'll show you guys really quick and i'm serious you can wear street clothes to work whatever you want to wear so i just have on a pair of target sweatpants my burks and the sweatshirt i was wearing yesterday this is my hello headband of the day let's make a coffee really fast and then grab lunch so i have my socks my scrub bottoms and my scrub top in here and then i will grab my actual shoes i think this is the first day i've not worn my work shoes to work i just feel like wearing my sandals so we're gonna grab a cup and make some coffee
lunch. I'm going to fill up my hydro jug and go to work. So I work from 7 to 7. Hopefully I will be home by 7.30, 7.45-ish. That's typically when I get home. But typically we get to work. So I'll sit in the report room and the charge nurse from PM will give us report on all of the patients on the floor. And then my charge nurse will assign assignments. So with my preceptor, let's see, I'm on week, I think I'm on week seven. This might be week eight. Typically at this point, depending on how many patients there are, we'll either get one patient assigned to both of us or we'll get two. And what my preceptor will do is kind of like helicopter me and like watch over me. A few weeks ago, I would have been so uncomfortable with that, but it's gotten a lot better. We chart on our patients every 30 minutes, even less than that if they're getting an epidural, whatever it may be, we're watching baby and we're watching mom. The day can be really stressful or it can be really lax. It's kind of either one or the other. It's not really in between ever. It's honestly either completely crazy or you have a really smooth like bumping your Pitocin, getting your patient, you know, dilated and everything like that. Hopefully it'll be a good day. I will talk to you guys after work. All right, it is 7.40. I think I walked in the door at probably 7.30. Really good day. Delivered some babies today. Basically, so what I do when I get off is I come home. We're typically making food of some kind. Gonna make some dinner and do it all over again tomorrow. And tonight, I'm having this one. This one is a watermelon flavor. They're really good, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am really excited to get back in the groove of vlogging. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.